had a shruggy. It was interesting. I had a kind of a shoulder shrugger guy a couple weeks ago. You know, so what do you notice about my heels right now? Yeah, they're, they're tapping, right? The club is in some strong arms. Arms are up on a chest. You know, and, and we'll do the eye work, a little bit of the eye work first. But so as my weight's going left for the last time is when I can start everything to the right. So heel taps, but as I hit a shot here, okay, and then we take a look, and it, this only takes a snippet of like a, I don't know, second and a half of the, of what you watched, but you'll see the whole video. But the point, my point is, back to here. So my club's on the ball but fractionally elevated, right? So I'm going to have a radius that's just a little bit more reliable than yours. I'm referring to this. Yeah, you know, I, I don't know where it really is. To be, I'm gonna, not going to lie, but you could feel it a, a couple ways. I mean, your arms look pretty good. That's not a problem. That looks pretty nice. A little bit. Yep. It does. It looks like your pelvis is a little open and a little bit, a little bit back. Mm -hmm. You know, let's go like as a club gets collects the ball down here. Like I don't know that I have any sense of having to shrug my shoulders back, right? So you know, if we are, you know, very aware of, you know what I mean? Like there's a there's a yeah. Right? And I think it's like, put your hand back here in my, you know, so feel, you know what I mean? I think that there's something going on in here rather than peaceful stretch almost. Right? Yeah, I want to feel like I'm going up and being longer, not shruggy, right? Okay. You know, that down the line posture looks pretty good. I mean, there's nothing there. I see as we get older, we get a little bit of a roundness. And that's fine. No. So, so, this is, but see, like, like what's going on there? Like, why am I able to short my swing? Like, why is my swing shorter than yours, right? That's always a question. Okay, it's, so my, the change in pressure is a little different. So, not to say, so, yep, yeah. yep, yeah. like, like my, What, what, yeah, no, you're doing fine. It's okay, but then everything on top is crazy. Like, yours is perfectly structured, right? Great structure. And I'm, I, I could have that shaft this way, but after that, it's just straight. Let me John Daly it, you know, and you're just maintaining that structure. So you would submit that you're having more pressure than I'll turn it back left. So you can start with that. Yeah. That shortens things out a little bit. So, in it, like, I mean, I think there's just a few a, a few simpler things going on with me, right? Like where you get it, and and trust me, I'm no Ben Hogan. I can go hit some broad golf shots, but let's see where we're going here. And there's another toe strike, right? And I just don't look athletic to play Sure, it's not.
Yeah, you know, I mean, you're you're beating yourself, beating yourself up pretty bad. But what I want to do is I want to put in some feels, and and I, I think the playmate will help you with this quite a bit because um, here, put one on. Uh, you know, the short band most people can tolerate a little bit easier than the long band. I think we'll uh, put you in the long band. Yeah. No, and some guys hit balls in that thing. I know. Yeah. Where's your seven iron right there? Yeah, and that's you know part part of it is well, sometimes we say things so that the teaching Nazis of the world don't get on our case, but there's really no harm in going up the shaft a little bit, okay? So you know we can just kind of put it a little higher, call it good. Yeah, and then when you you'll feel it. These guys. Are these graphite? Yeah. Oh, they are. Okay. Got an interesting feel to them. All right. So step in there for me. Clubs off the ground always, right? So when I when I refer to radius, I'm talking about this kind of the sum of this nice volleyball structure right here. Like if you're bumping a volleyball to me, right? Yeah. But I, you know, you're pretty flexible. I, I wouldn't twist my elbows in, but. I see guys come to me and their arms are off to their sides and they have no radius measure, right? So just a nice V stroke. I want this one to be a little bit softer. And the club would be just a little, and just for the purposes of the drills we're going to do, hold it off the ground three, four inches, okay? Yeah, so left arm structure, right arm is kind of, right arm is going to have to be, it's the tricky one on the golf swing, okay? So just to kind of do things. The way I would coach somebody in this thing first is we'll go from here. And all we're going to do is rotate and stand up to here. Okay, and we'll see how you're adding a little right hand. Just kind of keep that right there, right? And you're going to feel like you can go do that again for me. Club off the ground, kind of rotate and stand up. Okay, good. It's nice. Good. Just rotate and stand up. Awesome. So you do that great. Like. Perfect. Okay, good. Yeah. So now let's keep that thing a few inches off the ground. There's a bit of tension in there, right? Let's come back to P2 together. Good. Really good. Okay. Do that one more time for me. And I'm going to just tweak this a bit. Ready? Go ahead. A little bit more centered hips. Okay, yeah. Let's get that rail going. There you go. Good. Good. Let's go up to P3. So eyes still down here. Okay, you got it. Okay, just kind of hold it there for a sec. Okay. And now you can let your eyes kind of look to the left in the eye sockets if you want to. There you go. You see what I mean? Like, don't be afraid of letting your eyes kind of... Oh, you totally can see it. Nobody's going to come move it, right? Right? Yeah, let your eyes kind of... And that's why... Oh, free you up a ton. Okay, yeah, so good. Don't move. Let me just take a picture of that. Okay, good. Yeah, totally. Okay, good. And then from here, I don't want any of this. None. I want you to feel, let your eyes kind of look out the corner there. There you go. And let's just get a little higher. Corner your eye a little bit. And don't let that band relax at all. Okay, good. Stay there. Good. I'm just going to position you a bit more. Don't let that band relax at all. And one more quick picture here. Okay, now you can relax. Good. Take a, take a breather. Okay. No, no, no. I get it. And that's why, you know, five minutes a day, this is what I want you to do. And you'll be able to do it with a red band in no time. Right? So here's face on. Face on, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so a little bit of that for you is, I'd love for you to kind of break the barriers of this 
dominant right eye feeling like it has to be connected to what you're hitting, okay? I mean, if, you, if you're a left eye dominant guy, you got a mild advantage because you don't have to work on this thing because it's easy. If you got a big nose like me, you can still see the friggin' ball, right? But even in, it's like messing around. The first time I noticed this was years ago with a buddy of mine who had this great practice swing. Then we hit a golf ball. He had this kind of goofy thing. And he did it this way so he could look across the small of his nose. See what I mean? Okay. Right. Yeah, central vision. I get it. Oh, yeah. And no, and you'll, I, I guarantee you, if we went farther around with the driver right now, you'd swing at 105. Just looking out of the corner of your eye. Okay? Like freeing up a bit. Okay? And so, you know, obviously that's a little extreme over there, but that one's not. But see how high and stretched that is? And the reason I'm kind of going down this road right here on, on the right screen. Okay? And I'll leave, I'll put it up on the face on view. And on them, I'll come back over here, right? So there's my, you know, there's a full backswing ripper. You see what I mean? Like that's me, just you know. So my head's rotated a little bit. I'll make sure that's the right one. Oh, that's this one. Sorry. So there's, you know, this is this is a pretty full one. You know, a mild bit of rotation, and you can kind of see how, you know, uh, there's a tensioning mechanism and right now pressure is starting to kind of get back into my left foot you know I'm not trying to move to my right but anytime like if you're if you're in a push-up position you bend your elbow right pressure comes off the you know the hand that you're bending the elbow right and so it's it's not a, it's not so much about shifting as it is about like pressure more more of me is gonna be my right side now because my left foot in the in the quickness of a swing my left knee bent a bit so more weights to my right Okay, and then you know, and, and then and there's a sense of falling and catching. Here's the fall and catch, fall and catch. Shorten my swing. Yeah. No, no. So pressure shift. You know, that's kind of the tightening mechanism, right? So, and it's also, you know, like your size guy, you should be able to smash it out there, and you will be able to smash it out there. Okay, and, you, and it's all it's going to be a bit risky and in your practice we'll kind of put in all right here's your practice session okay 20 drivers is a lot of drivers you know 20 hard ones it's like that's work like when Jim Waldron hits 50 like at 145 miles an hour it's crazy that's a lot of work man you're gonna need to go take a nap after that right so kind of learning how to kind of create and you know how to self tighten their self tightening just by that you know reestablishing weight pressure okay and you'll do the same thing. So when I'm when I come back onto the screen here, and if I grab that club off you for a second. So you're you're going, alright. There's a bit of tension in here. Okay. And you know, maybe you kind of just you know, kind of go heart to the sky, tuck your buns, and you know, you're never gonna kind of cross up over here when you do that. Right? Clubs off the ground, rotate and stand up feel like, you know, as we get older, going into hyperextension is really important because, man, we lose the posterior chain. Now, you have the benefit of playing basketball for years, right? So your posterior chain is going to be strong. You're going to see some of the poor bastards I teach that are like, this guy came to me a couple days ago, 50 years old, telling me he does CrossFit. Like, the only CrossFit he does is crossing one hand over the other to fit more shit in his mouth. He was in terrible shape, you know, and he couldn't move. Like, he literally couldn't extend himself right so everything's going to be kind of stabby and no chance so you know for you to go kind of all right I, there's my central vision i'm going to work on high and wide you see no wrist cock none none so let me explain no wrist cock to you does dustin johnson cock his wrists okay i would say he doesn't so take your left hand and bow it like this okay now, now try to cock it. It doesn't cock. You get my point? So the only wrist, you know, only thing that actually cocks, like a golf swing's got vertical and horizontal. A wrist do, do two things, okay? They go a little bit this way and they go a little bit this way, right? So DJ goes, doesn't have any, any wrist cock at all. He goes into complete flex. 
Now it looks he gets his club sorta, you know, parallel to the groundish because he's, you know, maybe you're maybe even a half inch taller than you, and he's like a fit mother scratcher who can really wind up, right? You know, no, and, and, and honestly, it's a just, it's a mess. So it's not like I'm not saying that a little bit of vertical action. So here's wrist cock right here, this way, right, and this way. So which one's the forward shaft lean one? That way, right? So think about it. If we put a ton of this in, how do we get back to this one, right? So it's and so for you to say, all right, I'm, all right, I know what I got to do when I get my plane mate on, is you don't even have to hit a bunch of balls in it. For many guys, I say, just go stretch with it, right? Put it on, put your radius in, get the club a few inches off the ground. High and wide. Zero, right? Because guess what? Now you have no time. To get that out, good luck, right? Good luck to be a reliable striker, okay? So it's like, when you look at DJ, is it wrist cock? I don't think so. Okay, right, so show me what high and wide looks like, no wrist cock. Okay, slightly narrower stance. Okay, and I'm going to do one little thing. Yeah, so settle yourself right there. I'm going to take your pelvis and shift it to there. Okay, so see how your pelvis feels a little bit more rotated? You know, we call it like flashlight or tail feathers. I can aim my flashlight on that side of the room, or I can aim my flashlight on that side of the room. A little bit left, just a little bit. Show me, is stretch the band high, 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 high. Look out of the corner of your eye, okay? And don't let that hinge, right? Good. Perfect, okay? Now that right there, well, you know, you feel it all up here, right? And you feel it hard against your hand, right? You know it. Yeah, yes, you are. Because guess what? If I said to you, I'm a burglar, I'm not breaking your house, from there you can unwind and cut me in half if you wanted to. You see my point? If you go to here, you got to wait. you got to wait, and you can't cut me in. You could hurt me, but it's not the same as you kind of going, okay, I'll get you, right? You'll, you'll find the ground again and use rotation more than just kind of time in the golf club. You know, like I look at your swing, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of uh, Scott Hoke a little bit. You know, who's great, but that right there, what I'm seeing you do, that looks like, yeah, high and wide, and don't let tension come off the band, right? So now do me a favor, go to the other side, keep, tent, keep it wide and go to the other side. Yep. Just go through, there you go. Good. Keep there you go. Perfect. Okay, give me one more of those. High and wide. Keep tension on the band. Don't let it buckle back behind you at all. Good. Go to the other side. Good. Okay. So take a look at that. And you'll start to see, you know, why I'm as you go like, ooh, that looks different. I, I see a lot of, of what a lot of good players do. Okay, so if I could take the left screen and you go high and wide, right? Now you go there, you're like, that guy's going to beat the shit out of the golf ball, right? They're super high. Now you're actually playing golf high, like a, like a tall guy should, all right? Because I'm short guy playing tall. You may as well be a tall guy playing tall, okay? You know, so see what I mean? Like, that's crazy. If you saw a teenager there, you'd be like, the, he may, the ball may never come down. Because that's a Ferrari getting up to speed. You can't go fast in a Starbucks parking lot, right? You can only go fast now where you're at. Now, you could let the band buckle you. You know, and we, you know, when you sell something, you got to sell what everybody's talking about, right? Everybody's talking about getting shallow. But in your situation, you know, now when we take this and you keep the tension on the band, okay? And then you start to unwind that, right? Now, I wouldn't necessarily rocket your head out that quick. Right, I would say look at the ball a little bit longer, you know what I mean? Because that's a, just a little extreme head motion. But you get my point? There's width there that's going to be a bit more reliable, okay? T a ton more. You know, so like that, like that looks great, right? Now, 
you would think probably that you you know you would want to be narrower than that like then you know trying to instead of take keeping the band taut and out so what we're finding let me see, oh, i'll finish this video up what we're finding with better players and that's why the protocols are going to be okay are you old man good do this protocol are you a uh, you know are you a hooker of the golf ball you know yeah do this protocol you know are you do you, do you already this can you Hit it over 250 with a driver on a good one? Okay. Right? Because you kind of go up here and go, and then the band's, the band's gone. Right? New. No. So we don't, you know, I want you to feel like every one of these, so if I hit one hard, watch. Like the band will buckle in slow-mo. You'll see where, but you'll see my point. Yeah, yeah. So here's yep, here's structure, right? High and wide. A little miss hit, but take a look. So if I went to the top there, would you argue that I didn't have wrist cock? Okay. You know, if you just saw a guy hitting a shot there. No, you say. You know, sure. I would tell you that I'm not trying to wrist cock my wrists at all. Okay. I said no. I just have to talk. No, no. Right. You look at that. You're like, oh, you got an early set, Mark. You'd be like, I didn't cock my wrists at all. Right. So you know, P3. Right, and that's in this, you know, Mac O'Grady's standard locations of whatever, you know, his classifications are, right? So, you know, that that's just a guy who's got fairly reliable arm positions. Not trying to overhinge anything, because that's very unreliable, okay? So, and on this... Yeah, I mean, the only... Right. Yeah, I'm sure it does. But it has no time. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like, you don't have any time. Mm -hmm. So it's tight, right? Right, and it gives up a bit. Yeah, and I'm not trying to. You know, I'm not really trying to. Like, it's going to it's gonna warble around a little bit. You know, but for the, you know, for the slicer, I'm going to make, you know, so, and back to the point of, you know, promoting marketing something, you know, everybody's over the top, right? So most people that buy this, yeah, you don't need to do that. We just got to create a better high, wider backswing position, right? Because if I showed Dana, if I showed Dana that video or that, he'd be like, that's perfect. I guarantee you he would, right? He'd be like, damn, that's, per I've been trying to get him to do that for whatever. And I'm like, well, yeah, he's just now because it's just he's fighting a rubber band. Fight the rubber band, right? Let's go.